Hello, we're the Spawn family from the Point Church in Greenwood, Indiana, and we welcome you into our home this season. Uh, each day in December until Christmas Day, we will be presenting an Advent reading from The Jesse Tree by missionaries Kent and Kathleen Penton. We hope this blesses you. Our scripture is Genesis 1, 1 through 10. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty, and darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he calls night, and there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it, and it was so. God called the vault sky, and there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land, and the gathered waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And John chapter 1, 1 through 4. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life. And that life was the light of all mankind. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I thought this was about people. You know the lineage of Jesus, his ancestors? This isn't about anybody. Well, you're correct, but so am I. Allow me to explain. I used to think that when God made everything, the world and the stars and the sun, moon, trees, rocks, animals, you know, everything, that it was similar to children getting out their Play-Doh stuff or art supplies in order to make something. But creation wasn't like that at all. We can read many times in the first chapter of Genesis the words, and God said. Then the sentence that follows tells us that the word God spoke happened, somewhat like magic, but there was no magic and no fantasy or sleight of hand. In fact, there was absolutely nothing at all. God spoke the word and it happened. It was created out of nothing, just his word. Amazing, fantastic, awesome. For some, unbelievable. In the Thai language, words that refer to royalty are different than words used by ordinary people. In Thai, the word kam is translated as word just ordinary words or a word. However, if it is the word of the king, then it's not the ordinary calm, but rather pra calm, meaning the royal word or word of the king. I rather like the difference, especially when reading this story of creation. The word, God's spoken word, not his hands or his fingers, but God's spoken word is what created the world. In John 1.1, 1, 1, we read about the word of God. When and where his word existed, and even who, and that's right, who his word is, Jesus. It's a rather difficult concept to wrap around your minds. However, it is this word of God, a baby in a manger, the God-man hanging on a rough wooden cross, the resurrected Savior that created everything. It is this word that is the beginning of Jesus, the baby's history. We're going to sing uh, a song called Thanks to God Whose Word Was Spoken. It's in the tune of Angels from the Realms of Glory. Thanks to God whose word was spoken. 
broken in the deed that made the earth is the voice that calls the nation is the fires that tried her worth god has spoken god has spoken praise him for his open word thanks to god whose word incarnate glorified the flesh of man deeds and words and death and rising tell the grace in heaven's plan god has spoken god has spoken praise him for his open word let's pray Lord of heaven and earth, creative word of God, fill us anew with the power and the wonder and the majesty of your word, that we may know you and that you may be glorified in us. In this Advent season, may your word be renewed in us as we reflect upon it in these times. May those watching draw closer to you and be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining us.